Welcome back, my friends, to the Dead Fire Archipelago. We have counted right. This is a hundredth time. <laughs> Let's see what we can find out this time. We will try to get to full deadlight, but I want to know who Ruddy Rabel is. So, let's see. This man here, Ruddy Rabel, is he going to follow us or what? Indeed he is, hey. <laughs> Look, there's a burial site at the Valian Mill. He's going away again. What's that now? Oh, there's an island that he wants to show us. Really? Are there more islands? Down here, there's another island. Oh, and I see something here. Sometimes it's fun just to sail around a bit. But of course we need... Oh, we need water! Or at least ale. Um, yeah, the, the morale of the crew is high. Let's see. With a sharp rock. Got that mad dwarf here with a good deckhand. We also have good deckhands, right? Here? Excellent deckhands, are you? Very well, very well. Ruddy Rabel. And there's, there's actually more. Look at this, there's even a harbour. We need to have a look at this island. A solitary rice farm. Yeah, give us rice. Rice is great because it's, yeah. And rice wine even. Mm. Tar loaf is okay, is okay. We get a 50% discount on items here. That's crazy good. Rice wine and rice. Rice with fresh fruit, that's also fine. Rice. There's gotta be a way to sort it, right? Oh, we got some arak. <laughs> Candied nuts. <laughs> you get that from your captain, then it's. Out of hand. Well, let's see what we can get here. Yeah, then we'll go back here to, to that island. Is that a volcano or what? Look at this, there's more islands here now. There's another island in this direction. We haven't been on this one. Look at this. Ooh. Valian Mill. <laughs> we can get hard tack here. The lager is absolutely great, but not hard tack. I enjoy the occasional heart attack from time to time. Oh, yeah, and here we get it. <laughs> Valian settlers brought their burial traditions with them to the dead fire, which include orderly graveyards like these. By wandering the dead fire countryside, you stumble upon a site used frequently for ritual cremations. Beside the flat expanse of earth where a pyre might have been, sits a small crypt full of beautiful baskets containing cremated remains. We find nothing. We find this. That's good. 
scroll of nature's mark. Also nice. And I found everything and spoiled the burial site. <laughs> There's a ruined tower to boot. Remains of a tower lie strewn upon the ground before you. The stone structure seems to have tumbled over during an earthquake. The tower appears abandoned, and even a corpse remains. Search it, though. Find a spell writes Grimoire. Oh, that's nice. And. Whoa! 21 golden swirls. That's cool. And there's even something more here. What is that? Some water to be found. Good stuff. More here? Not really. We got something good from the Valian Mill. And that's nice. I mean, if you rest on the islands, then you save a lot of food, right? You only have to pay the daily wages. Look at this, more islands. What is in this edge here, though? I mean, we're well equipped, so we should have a look, right? Oh, <laughs> right. I, I see those red skulls. Maybe we could go to another place. Maybe we could go to Cozy Fort Deadlight now, right? Is that a good idea? Yeah, that was the original idea, and I believe it's still good. I have never deviated from it. Who is that? Oh, is that a pirate or what? Get away. The blighted bog? I don't think we should go this way. Thankfully, we're a little far. Oh! Let's have a look here. Sail around this. Ooh. Yeah, there's quite a bit of things. Let's go to that shipwreck. A shipwreck huddles in the crashing surf, its splintered beams rising like ribs from the water. The wreck appears abandoned. Sift through it. Valing Trade Company colors. An Imperial long gun. Ooh. Palm stones. Hammer and chisel. Nice. All nice. There's something around this for the deadlight here. Medical supplies. And here. And there's even more. Look at this. There's also someone coming for us. Oh, a Dao. I don't want to meet a Dao. I want to go to Fort Deadlight. Through the distant haze of sea mist and rocky shadows, Fort Deadline rises over the horizon. Approaching a pirate stronghold is a risky venture, even for most skilled of mariners, and a ship not flying a principi flag that's sighted in Deadline's shallows may be raided. Good that we have that Principi flag and, and Deadline's port. The Principi flag, flapping wildly from your mast, you smoothly sail into port and moor up at the dock. Dogs are crawling with sailors of all ages and races, many of them wearing mismatched, battle-torn outfits, guns strapped to their thighs and chests. They load and unload cargo holds, arms brawny, grinning faces sun-blistered as they laugh and curse and shout and hack fling onto the splintered boards of the dock. With the bustle, Principi guards emerge to hail your arrival. Satisfied with appearances, they nod you on and you make your way up to the fort's main gate. Good that we've arrived. Well, that is Ford Deadlight. Let's see what we can find here. Let's also be a little bit careful. Can take here supplies, supplies. As usual, there's a neglected dog. The man Derog hasn't been back in weeks. Who are these? 
Hey little dog, hearty. Bonus to might and reflex. Snake eyes conduin. Let's talk to this one. To this woman? Man? How might I help you out of a bit of money, squab? Care to join our fun? Or is it swilling information you're chasing? The pirate looks you over, eyeing the make of you. A sly smile curls at his mouth as he tosses a pair of dice to rattle over the cobblestone ground. Without so much as a glance at the settling dice, he calls out their numbers. Hmm, yeah, I'll play around. Now, before we get rolling, let me tell you the rules. You bet on high if you think when the dice settle, they'll count up to more than seven. You bet on low if you think the count will be less than seven. Both pay double or nothing. Less than seven? I bet on low? So it's one to six. Um, how many dice are there? More than seven? Lastly, you can also bet on seven. Oh. If the count is exactly seven, then you win four times the wager. A hundred pyres per roll of the dice. You sure you want to risk it? All right, all right. Um, I'll bet on seven. Snake Eyes jiggles the dice in his hand after blowing onto them for lucky gusts the dice across the ground. The dice add up to seven. Looks like you've won. He's called Sally as he looks you up and down, eyes narrow. Careful, pal. You're a little too lucky for your own good, <laughs> I think. With a heavy sigh, he hands you quadruple the stick. Care for another roll? No, no. He shrugs one shoulder. He rolls a spare die over the tops of his fingers, making it appear and disappear with fluid flicks of his hand. I'm looking for Captain Ben. Ross. I ain't my captain's keeper. And I know better than to ask what business you've got with Brutal Ben. Oh, Brutal Ben, he's... Yeah, he jerks his head once to the right. You might check the court for him. If he ain't target practicing, he's tickling the harpsichord or taking his swill. Two out of the three can be done there. But if you see him, don't fucking tell him I sent you. Okay. Very nice. Not the nicest captain around, okay, as, as would be expected from a pirate, but still. A lamp oil barrel, huh? That might ignite. Happily. It was their first hanging. Had the rope too Speaks long, so we cut the tosser's head right nice. off. Huh. Ain't even possible, that. It is. I'm telling you, I saw it. No nut Ned. Got a nice cutlass for you. Show me what you right have away. Sale. The bloody lynx, sir. Exceptional armour. Two more armour rating and a blood price. Imbued with blood, the male constricts and triples. Seemingly under its own power. Grants a bonus to all defences when the wearer becomes bloodied. Pretty helpful. Oh. It's often enough. Often enough. What's in here? Leave it to me. Scrolling on this banner reads Ramparts Restricted. Okay, okay, wow. These these guys are more room bound than any police officer, I guess. And who is there? Ooh. Doesn't seem to be in the best of positions. Think this'll break me? Ha! <laughs> it won't. Spit on me, and I'll make you regret it. One day, surely. Why are you being punished? Those hagfish. Ben West's crew lashed me up to be, and I quote, a deterrent to insubordination. Yeah, as I said, they are more orderly than the police officer. It's shark shit. All I did was filch one of their arms and blast it to start lung with. I wanted to see her get all worked up. <laughs> when with crew we use his horn blast for an alarm. Well, sure. But shouldn't you know this on account of you being a captain? She tilts her head back, gazing suspiciously at you from beneath her lashes. Um, I used to say for Ferranti, he runs things differently. <laughs> that he does, the master rogue. He should have come to us sooner. 
We're accepting of even old bloods if they're wanting to run fresh. I'll cut you loose. Not that I ain't grateful, but if Ben's crew spots me about, they'll be taking more than my pride next. Good point. Like Richard. I could go anywhere. Maybe we can help later. Been slower than two slugs swiving since Aldi's put the lid on it. Winds will be changing soon enough. Been with Carl. Throw on another bash for long. And who are you? He groans, too weak to lift his hand, head. Ooh. This swath of sail bears the charcoal scribbled warning Benwith's crew only. Okay, all right. Come, we've plenty to share. Who are you then? Oh, there. Watch your step. The stones are a mite slippery. You have seen that man, exactly that man, serving at the brass citadel. The pirate stumbles when he turns, slapping a palm onto the table to steady himself. In the process he knocks a tankard to the ground, spitting a frothy beverage. Here's to ourselves. May the gods grant us more gold and luck than we can imagine. He raises his mug high overhead. Is this a celebratory drink? You bet. Our bosun just brought a treasure map. We're saluting to our future prosperity, we are. We'd be making a proper raucous if Ung with the Craghearted wasn't such an accursed downer. What's Ung with the Craghearted all twisted she up? She loathes any type of disorder, especially that of the loud variety. We get too wild and you watch, she'll be stomping down here to yell at us. <laughs> Twenty pious here, I can drink you under the You table. can pay to try. Drink up. I will see who's left standing. Let's get swilling. Ah, oh, we should have had the ring there, but okay. First up's a round of a deer and mead. One of the most sober pirates pours two pints of the thick sweet brew. We'll pretend to drink from an empty tank. Not a bad start, not at all. He nods to you respectfully before guzzling down his own pin. Next round's grog. Not just any grog, mind you. This batch is fermented with gunpowder. We'll pretend to drink from the empty tankard again. Not many can handle a whole pint of gunpowder grog. He lifts his brows, both surprised and impressed, and he struggles through his own drink before offering you a snide, wet-looking grin. Now, nah, the best for last. We'll be having us a bit of hangman's blood. If this doesn't knock you on your backside, nothing will, I fear. What's it mean? You mean the way our crew makes it? A bit of this and a pinch of that, all mixed in a hogshead of pickled corpse fruit. Or oh, it's been known to kill a man, or at least his breath. We'll drink that, because we're not good enough for that slate of hand. Drink looks deceptively smooth and beery, but it stinks to the high skies. When you swivel the mug, chunks of rotting fruit bob up to the surface. Every swallow feels like choking black bile. Black, black bile. The drink scours a hole in your belly and leaves you parched, but you finish the entire pint down to the last drop. At first the pirate merely stares, then he nervously licks his lips and with trembling fingers reaches for his own pint of the corrosive concoction. Slay me for crow's bait, should I ever turn craven. In a surge of courage, the drunkard gulps down his own pint. His chest heaves as he clinks the cup's bottom and a cocky grin begins a slow sweep from his hips. But his smile freezes halfway cold and a paint twists as he slowly begins to tilt backwards. He topples to the ground, out cold. <laughs> Shush you rumpots, or Cragart will be down here again. Hey there. Andra drown those no good drunkards and their raucous louting. That's Ung. Door cutlasses, aim cannons, all pirates to arms. So that's her? For the last time, pipe down, the lot of you. Flog off, we ain't hurting nothing. I ought to throw you in irons. Think I can't? Think Ben would care what happens to you? I don't think Aldi's would like it, none. No. Aldi's isn't here, is she? So shut up or I'll drown you in your own grog. 
Why in the blackest dell are you clomping around so loud? How be it? You're not allowed up here, you no good fuddlers. Got a problem with the drunks? It's got no patience for them, the bilge lickers. It's rot enough I'm posted next to the forge, having to listen to that hammer striking non-stop all day long. Add on those howling guzzlers at the bottom of the stairs, and you get the picture. Enough gabbling. The ramparts are off limits to anyone but Ben Wet's crew. Run off, or I'll run you through. No need no, to be No, I'd best escort you back. Follow me if you want to keep living. Try to sneak past if you want to die. Ah. Now, ready. Shush you, Rumpots, or Cragart will be down here again. I'll see it. So, so. We'll see if we can get to that place like another way. The dungeon. Inscription on this banner reads, keep away from the dungeons. That's exactly what we will not do in the next episode. Have a great time until then and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon, my friends.